So I've got my hands on the new ghillie outfits from Tragopan. Some exciting stuff that I'm using in the forest to stalk deer in the coming days. Some new ghillie gloves. So similar to the new 3D camo, but this has the ghillie on it as well. Tripod ghillie sleeves. So on each end, we'll have this little strap and tightener. And a lens sleeve. Now the lens sleeve come in a small and a large. A large one works well for say a 400 millimeter f2.8. Uh, the smaller one could work well for say 100 to 400 zoom. Check out on the website which one is going to be right for you. So best thing to put on the lens first, you can get your tripod plate out the hole at the bottom. Now on the front here, there is one strap that we can tighten. There's also another strap here to make sure that the ghillie doesn't come over your lens. So basically figuring out where it fits and then tightening that so that we keep the ghillie out of the lens itself. Quite a big opening here. Just kind of use the room that you need. And I got my ghillie coat, it comes in a handy bag. And this is the classic ghillie coat that's been available for quite some time. All these new items just go along really well with it. So join me tomorrow morning. I'm going to head out to local woodland here and hopefully get close to some deer. It's a northwesterly wind today. So I'm going to approach this woodland from the southeast.
What an absolutely incredible encounter I've had today. So, I first put this outfit on and I kind of just stalked or walked really slowly, trying not to break any twigs into this forest. And I entered the forest from the southeast because there was a slight northwestern wind this morning. So, I thought it'd be very important to just walk around the forest and enter from that side so that nothing catches the wind of me as I enter the forest. And then I kind of walked halfway in where I've had loads of deer encounters before. And I just put everything on, I sat down, sat down next to the wall because I thought it'd be nice and hidden with the background blending in. I probably sat there for an hour or so, got a bit impatient, so I started just same same idea, walking really slowly. Um, just try not to break any twigs or anything like that further into the forest and finally i saw the antlers of fallow deer there's actually two of them in the grasses over here so they were just resting and i just slowly approached and i was probably at first i was probably maybe a hundred or just under a hundred meters away so i just stopped for a bit i didn't want to rush it and sat here for a while and all of a sudden this happened actually on three occasions on different stages closer to the fallow deer just a lone roe deer would just wander and all of a sudden I turn around and there's a roe deer just really close to me and just getting closer and closer so I had first I think I had first a female um, not an adult male a buck and then probably a one-year-old or two-year-old male or something just had those tiny little antlers in the end uh, and all the while the fallow deer was over there, but I just kind of got distracted and the fallow deer weren't doing much. They were just sitting in the grass. So I don't really know how long they were going to sit there. So, I, you know, after a while, I just started slowly approaching again and just stalking them closer and closer. At the end, I was probably close to 30 meters away, if not closer. And I just sat down for a while. Eventually they got up. I've got a couple of photos and some footage, but unfortunately they just wandered off in the other direction. So a bit unlucky after all that effort, but I feel I feel absolutely incredible about it because the roe deer, I think I got some really nice roe deer images and just the experience of getting close to these fallow deer. And when the roe deer were here as well, because they were walking on the side of me and I was actually sitting quite in the wide open like I am now. In any direction around me, there's close by, there's trees, there's, you know, there's foliage on the ground, there's the wall behind me further back. So it didn't seem to matter that I was sitting quite wide open when I had all this stuff on me. And the roe deer had no idea that I was there. Um, so I actually managed to turn around as it was feeding. And every now and then, if it went behind a tree and I really wanted a shot, I would lean over and just worked perfectly like just a great outfit to to kind of work like this in the forest for deer and here roe deer fallow deer are just perfect opportunities for photographing here in the forest anyways um you can pick up the new ghillie gloves the new ghillie sleeve for camera and lens and the ghillie tripod legs and a ghillie coat has been available for a long time i've actually used that in a video quite a long time ago but do check it out i was photographing otters on the isle of mull and i was using the same ghillie coat it is it has done me well i've got close to a lot of wildlife with this ghillie coat uh, so i can highly recommend it and basically all of this gear is um, definitely something i'm using a lot more 
and photographing these deers in the forest. Coming up for the rut, um, these fallow deer here rut about the same time as red deer. So this is the kind of outfit that you just really want to get a hold of for photographing the rut. Be sure to pick it up either from photographyblinds.com for US and Canada and tragopan-shop.com for Europe and the rest of the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making it and I actually learned a lot. Really pushed myself further to do some stalking and this is without doubt the most successful time. I think throughout the day only one of the roe deer which came really close to me I actually spooked that one and it got, you know, it ran away and it started barking because it was suspicious. I didn't quite know what it was. But getting this close to fallow deer and all the other roe deer that did not notice that I was there, it just wandered by and disappeared into the forest and I got my photos. So, super happy with that. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.